Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Jones Edition. I thank you guys for tuning in to another episode on my channel. I love the series on my channel, the storage unit series. I uh, have something a little different for you. Not a storage unit this time. I bought my first pallet. I hope you enjoy. I paid $300 um, from our storage unit fund to buy a, our pallets. Actually, there's two pallets here. We actually had to unload one pallet and put it in this pallet because it wouldn't fit all the way on my small trailer. But uh, the guy gave us a little bit of a discount for our first time buying them, whatever. Um, so we got, we're getting tubs out right now and we're gonna start unloading them. Uh, we're gonna try to get things going here uh, so we don't waste time and uh, we'll see what we got i'm not sure what to expect from this the storage units this week um, went sky high we were ready to buy a storage unit but they uh, they went too high for cost they went like 400 dollars, 350 uh, we didn't want to take a risk on that on these ones um, so we went the pallet route this time so everything should be pretty new here 90 percent of it's supposed to be new or returned um, we already can tell there, there there's a few broken things in here so we'll get to that and uh, hopefully we'll make a profit on it we'll see what happens All right, we just finished unloading everything. Um, several pole um, saws type thing. Um, we're gonna look all these up. I think we looked at this right here, like $28 from uh, Walmart. I think it's like $20 at Home Depot, uh, 20 inch shovels. We have four of those. We got lots of like appliance, little things, little light bulbs and fixtures. Um, those are hit and miss to what they cost. Um, we got a couple of these cool little, um, like cooker things, like propane cookers. Um, that's kind of neat. Uh, a lot of like sup, sup pumps and stuff like that. Like uh, We checked that one out, that one works. Um, we got a wheelbarrow, but the wheelbarrow is cracked right there on the corner. So I don't know if that's can be repaired or just leave it and sell it. I don't know if it's worth it. This uh, pot right here is cracked. So that stinks. I'm gonna have to look this guy up. This is a uh, pressure assist system. I'm not sure what for. What do you think this is for, Dad? Uh, a a uh, toilet. Toilet. So we got this. Uh, this is a sump pump for um, for home use. We got a post hole digger here. All over the place. Twenty nine. $28, $29. We have this uh, cool little vacuum system here. Vacuum system, it has a battery in it. This red red rake, made by Razorback. We got this rake right here, $28, $29. So this is one of the smaller uh, sump pumps. It's the cheapest one. Um, this one works, we haven't tried that out, but check out the price there. And then we got this one here, which is a, like a Mac Daddy sup pump. It's made out of cast iron. Uh, pretty cool. Um, everything is an Everbuilt. This one here is a three, three quarter horsepower sup pump, um, cast iron. It's around like 220 bucks or so. <laughs> it's a paint, paint sprayer that's broken. Uh, and then we got this one here, Everbuilt, 40 gallon, uh, one third horsepower. It's like it's called like a pedestal. Um, I've been looking this up. I think the only thing I could find was on eBay. Uh, check that out. So this here is broken. I'm not even going to worry about that. Uh, this here was like $120 brand new. I don't know if it's going to be worth fixing this at all. Uh, this thing is kind of pricey. It's like uh, 50, 60 bucks. Uh, that right there is a dryer lint vacuum. Pretty cool. 
It helps taking... prevent fires. We don't want fires. Yeah. Yeah. What so it looks like someone just uh, trashed that, this uh, sprayer. So that's probably garbage. So we got these uh, solar color changing lights, four packs by Weston, Weston House, Westing House. Um, they're pretty cool. They're like 70 bucks. I end up setting them up around the house uh, right now uh, just to kind of see what they look like. I've been wanting to buy some. I don't know. I might just pay for them myself and keep them. And I put one over here by the tree. So I'm kind of curious to see what that looks like. I'll probably come back out here and film tonight so you guys can see what that looks like. Uh, sorry for the plain noise. It's pretty cool. We live near a a military base and they do flybys all the time we have an airport here in town in columbus and they do uh touchdown and takes off a c-130s i believe what they are pretty cool and then uh we found this uh, little personal desktop ac I haven't checked that out yet i need to see if that works it says um you get air in like 30 seconds something like that it's kind of neat so i got two of these um pressure assist systems uh, one over here and then one over there they're uh they're pretty pricey. I found these um, selling on eBay. I think that might be the best place to sell these. So that's kind of cool. Um, we got a little outdoor furniture piece here and then a couple different um, toilet seats. This thing right here is like $33. It's um, one of those um, hanging baskets for like a plant. My wife says she likes those and may, may keep that. I'll make her pay for it. This right here is like 40 bucks. It's a uh, skid paint or non-skid paint for boats so i haven't checked out here this is like a wire tracker tester i think i'm not sure if that works or not some soft closed hinges these here go to this um like fast track rail systems by um rubbermaid the big ones are all like 10 bucks and there's a couple small ones here it's probably like five dollars for those I wish I had the rail system. I might keep those. So this item right here is like a little grader type thing for dirt or something. It's broken. We actually have this uh, mop here at the house and we really like it. It has a little attachment to the head and uh, the foot pedal spins. My son put his darts in there. <laughs> it, it actually works really good for our you know small kitchen and I use, a, use it for the cleaning the garage up. All right, so that's pretty much it for the uh, pallet. This is our first time buying one, like I said. So I I think we'll make our money back. I don't know how much money we're going to actually make on this stuff and how much time do we really want to invest in fixing some of the things that are broken to make more money. I don't know. I like to sell things and move on. Um, there's definitely some cool stuff at that um, warehouse. I wish I filmed more, but I had the kids with me, so I was kind of hectic. But um, they have all kinds of different pallets, different prices from Amazon, Walmart, um, Home Depot mainly, and then um, all, yeah, stuff like that. So maybe next time we'll do like an Amazon pallet return or uh, like a Walmart pallet. But um, this stuff is pretty cool. Um, I think some of it will definitely sell. Um, hopefully we get back to our 300 price tag that we paid for it. But I'm gonna sign off right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Something a little different for the storage unit stuff. Um, I'll keep you posted on everything. Hopefully we'll get another storage unit soon. Um, once we get rid of all this stuff, we'll uh, move on to the next one. I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for some more stuff here soon on the channel. See you on the next one.